Well, the Celtics in the building at Saul is a relatively modern building. It's just 90 years old. Built in 1932 to commemorate the 1500th anniversary of Patrick coming to Ireland. The tower is a replica of high towers that you would have found in different places in Ireland as well. Patrick began his missionary journeys in Ireland in 432 AD. He travelled to various places from Saul. It's also said that he returned to Saul where he subsequently died and then was buried on the Hill of Down, which is where Down Cathedral is. You go back to the Coptic Church, which separated from the Orthodox Church round about the 5th century, and Patrick predates that. So even in the Coptic Church, they would recognize Patrick. So everybody has got some sort of acknowledgement that Patrick was the apostle of the Irish people. The work of the church is maybe working at two levels. Uh, Within our immediate locality, it's still quite a rural community, and it's still quite conservative, and I think people still have a positive attitude towards the church. Even those who don't attend the church are not necessarily hostile to the church, and obviously at critical points in life will often turn to the church for help. Within our diocese as a whole, we've got a, a very strong emphasis from our bishop, and that emphasis is on church planting and trying to revitalize or rejuvenate smaller congregations that are maybe struggling. We're putting a lot of effort into that, particularly in areas of population where there might be churches. It tends to be more in cities and housing estates around Belfast. But nevertheless, even in our community, there's a lot of support for us to try to reach out and engage with unchurched people. The link to St. Patrick it means that we get many, many visitors or pilgrims who come into the area, who come to visit St. Patrick's Grave or come to Saul Church, and that always gives you a touching point to have conversations with people. The other side of it is, of course, all Christians recognize Patrick as having brought the gospel to Ireland, and therefore it does give you the opportunity to find common ground with Christians from all denominations. In our area, I'm particularly encouraged that the churches work very closely together. Uh, We have very good relationships with the other churches, the church leaders, particularly the Roman Catholic church leaders, Presbyterian church leaders. When there had been a a Baptist church, uh, even with the Baptist church, there was very good, uh, positive church relationships. And then the third area that's encouraged me, which really linked to Down Cathedral, because the cathedral itself had been a Benedictine abbey back in the Middle Ages, and we have today a very close relationship with Benedictine monks at Holy Cross Abbey in Ross Trevor.